Hello, fabulous Cancer. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of June 2020, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a phenomenal astrological month for all of us, but I would say especially for you, it is that much more important. Now, June 5th will launch eclipse season. This is an extended eclipse season that'll take us right into the early part of July. But what is key for you is the fact that we are going to have one of the last eclipses that is going to speak right to the heart of you. On the summer solstice, June 21st, is when we will have a solar eclipse at the very beginning of your sign. And in some ways, it is going to be as if you are beginning again. You've spent the last year and a half having and hosting eclipses in your sign and in your opposite sign. So this is the last series that you're approaching. It is going to be next month that the eclipse in your opposite sign is going to bring that larger trend to an end for now. But it is as this solar eclipse takes place that you are going to get a chance not only to reflect on how far you've come over the last year and a half, but also to decide what your most pure and important beginning is going to be. The summer solstice is a time when the sun in the northern hemisphere is at its maximum light, at its maximum power. And it is this sense of illumination, this sense of seeing clearly now that is going to help you to understand the beginning that you're ready to make. For some, this may be dramatic, for others, it may surprise even you, but regardless, this is a fresh perspective on yourself and the truth of who you are that allows you in key ways to feel like you can begin again. All of this is furthered by the fact that just days before this solar eclipse, Mercury will go retrograde in your sign. This is powerful because it allows you to contemplate more deeply. It allows you to revisit where it is that you have been, in particular over the last year and a half, and allows you to understand and to integrate now all that you have gained and all it is now that you hope to be. Now that's gonna be part of an ongoing journey that'll take you right into next month, but the solar eclipse is by far a standout moment of clarity and of personal truth that makes all the difference. Now let's navigate earlier into the month, right around the 5th of June. That is when we are going to have a lunar eclipse. This lunar eclipse is taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life. So this is the work you're doing, the people who surround you, the type of work. This is your clients, your customers. This is also connected to your daily habits and rituals, including your daily habits where it comes to health. And so all of that is covered here. Now, this eclipse has a whole lot of energy to it. It is part of a larger configuration that astrologers call a T-square. Opposite this lunar eclipse is a retrograde Venus. And then speaking with both the lunar eclipse and Venus is Mars in tension. And it is this Mars in particular that is speaking to a sense of heightened emotion and energy, uh, a sense of urgency that could be playing out at this time. And I do think that what this suggests is change, in some cases dramatic change, and you being more honest about what it is that you really want to do. With Venus retrograde, that asks us, do I love it? And for you, the answers reach very deep. They are very karmic now, as I spoke of in the Venus retrograde special horoscope for your side. And so here we have this lunar eclipse bringing change. For some, this is going to be perhaps a very dramatic exit of a client, a customer, or a coworker, or immediate supervisor. It may also represent a time when you realize that you want to be doing something different where it is that you have been putting your daily energies into, in particular where it comes to your work, may not work for you anymore. And so this can be when you're leaving a particular task or project behind, particular people behind, but it ultimately is part of you welcoming in more. 
That's the thing. You can't have an ending without also having a beginning. And the endings happening now are karmic. Their time has come. This part of the sky being connected to your daily rituals and your health related practices, well, it does suggest a determination to make positive change in this very area. Where it comes to matters of love this month, okay, as we navigate late into the month, we are going to have at the end of the month a meeting in the sky of Jupiter and Pluto. This is the second of three meetings these planets are going to have this year. They did connect back in April as well. And what this suggests is a moment of high energy, yes, but truth. This is about digging really deep and all of the feelings that arise, helping you to understand where you are in love, how you want to move forward. I do want to give you a little bit of a heads up next month, early next month, we're going to have a solar eclipse in your sign that is going to be very powerful, a sense of a brand new beginning in matters of heart. And I'll be here to talk about it as we go along, but at least for now, Know that it is this meeting of Jupiter and Pluto that set the stage, that help you to see a hidden dynamic as part of deciding the best way forward for you. But when you look at what's happening in your sign, it's almost as if you have your answers. You are clear about you and what you want in your heart of hearts. And it becomes about allowing yourself to see and feel more fully as you decide your way forward. If you're open to meeting someone new before the month is over, there may very well be a very powerful attraction. It may feel very faded. Now remember, it's a feeling and it shows you that there's a lesson there. What you do with it is always up to you to decide. But yes, this heightened energy of Pluto does denote a level of fatedness to your attractions now. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, this is a moment of truth. This is you seeing this person more deeply, understanding some hidden dynamic that has been playing out. Now, whether or not you're ready to take action to support it, this can be a very all or nothing type of realization. And for those of you in an established bond, just expect your partner to need you to be available or present in some way. It is as if all of you is there with this person that you love. Whether or not you can be physically there to provide the emotional support, that may very well be needed. Now for some, this is going to be the beginning of redefining the bond, allowing the bond to be reborn in some way that ultimately feels more authentic than it did before. What I love about this month for you, well, this month has that final solar eclipse in your sign. It'll be a few years before you see eclipses in your sign again. And it is now under this very powerful sky that you truly get a chance to begin again. May it be honest. It is going to be a chance to see yourself and your life differently, more illuminated than you have appreciated in a while. And as you examine whom it is that you are, you get to decide what truly matters to you and you get to decide whom it is that you're going to be next. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.